hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a church flyer so before any further ado let's get started here i'm going to use 4 by 4 inches go to your solid color then select dark red okay now go to your image i'm going to use this image background then scale it out then position it as you will like it Then apply Gaussian Blur, set it to the number of your desire, it's okay like this. Okay. Now go back to your image, then bring into Photoshop this image. Then you reduce the size. All right. Now, go to your blending option, then you have use multiply or overlay between the two. So, anyone you want to use, but I prefer overlay. Now, I'm going to draw a cycle. Draw a circle over here, then change the color to yellow. Then go to your Gaussian Blur. Blur it this way. Okay. Now, I'm going to use that blending mode for now. Let me see how it's going to be. Then drag it up again. Reposition it well. Then use this overlay. Then you change the image to multiply. Then select your test to type the name of the church. All right. Then reduce the size. Then position it well. Duplicate it, Ctrl J. Then type your test again. Then open the character space. Then 
then change the color to yellow all right I think this position is more better then I will centralize this test again then select your test tool and type again now I will change the color to white then close the character space then you scale it out then ctrl d to deselect now ctrl j to duplicate And then type your test again now reduce the size then drag it up then apply drop shadow apply this setting then ok copy it right click and paste the layer style now type again the team I'm using the font here hostly then duplicate the team use your arrow key to move it forward a bit I want it to come out more bold then scale it out a bit Then I'm going to select them and group it. Now I will draw a rectangle from this area to this area. Then you centralize it vertical alignment then ctrl d to deselect then drag it down so that the team will be at the top now i'm going to apply drop shadow at the first test today
five five ten. So you can see now how the test pop up. Then bring this image. You scale it out. Then you drag it down on top of the right angle. Then you apply clipping mask. Then the font I'm using is Open Sans. Then scale it out. Drag it up. It's okay. Then scale it out again. Then apply vertical alignment. Then I'm going to apply a black color. Then apply a drop shadow. Let me know under the comment if it's okay to apply this black shadow to apply the drop shadow or not. Then centralize it, vertical alignment. Use your arrow key then to drag it down. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw a round angle at the bottom here and leave it with white color. Then I'm going to group this one. Then I'm going to reduce it a bit. Then select the test. Use your arrow key then to move it up. It's okay like this. Now I'm going to bring this icon of calendar. Then reduce the size. Position it around the end. Then drag it to the white area. Okay. Now type the date. Change the color to white. Drag it over here. It's okay.
Now I'm going to duplicate it. They make it bold. Then you make it bigger. Then duplicate it. Then untype the month. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle here and I'm going to apply this yellow color then bring this time icon now go to image adjustment saturation and hue then you drag it to this white OK Then duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Then you drag it up. Then move it over here. Then scale it out. All right. Then you duplicate it again. Reduce the size. Position it. Then untype PM. Alright. Then I'm going to change the color to this yellow. Then Ctrl G to group it. Now I'm going to scale it out. Select the tool. Then you drag it out. Always zoom in and out to see how it's going to look like. Then you drag this icon. Now select your test tool. Then I'm going to type the location. So, something like this. This is not exact location. I just fit the location. Then position it at the center.
Ctrl D to deselect. Then I'll bring this one close. Now I'm going to bring this light flare. Then I'll position it over here. Then apply a little bit blur. All right. Think it's okay like this. I think this is better. Then I'm going to bring this light again. Position it at the center of this letter. Then apply screen. Then apply Gaussian blur. It's okay like this. Then I'm going to select my brush. Then clean up this area, clean up this area. All right. So zoom in and zoom out so that you see the outcome of your design. Then increase this one also. I think now it's okay. Then the last thing to do now, I'm going to apply this flaming fire. Okay, that is overlay. Then reduce the opacity. Then apply your layer mask. Then select your brush. Clean up this area. Then you clean up this area. And you drop your tools so this is how your design will come out all right thank you very much for watching please remember to share like and comment don't forget to turn on the notification bell thank you so much i really appreciate